What's up guys, Andre Chris here, and today I just wanted to sit down and give you guys some of the top editing apps that I use for my photography. These apps will be both for iOS and Android, so anyone can check it out. You guys can also check out a lot of my photography that I do on my Instagram. But anyways guys, let's get right to it. Now before I get started, I just want to let you guys all know that me and a good friend of mine uh, will be published and featured in a new volume of the magazine called Mock Journal. We've been putting a lot of work in and are very excited for the release, so please go show Mob Journal some love by following their page and also follow me and my friend to stay up to date on everything we have going on. Thanks guys. Now the very first app I have on the list is the powerful Adobe Lightroom for both iOS and Android. Now Lightroom is the industry standard for professional photographers and I even use it for most of my pictures because of how powerful it is. It basically has everything you need to edit your pictures and you can even edit raw pictures. You even have the top functions that you need such as light control to change the brightness on your pictures, color to change the color and temperature of your pictures, effects, and a lot of other cool features. In my opinion, this is the best app for everything. Next up I have the popular Visco app. Now the main reason why I added Visco to my list is because of all the cool and easy filters it has to provide on a minimalistic interface. You can pretty much change your picture to match any type of mood or setting you want. Just like Lightroom, you can edit raw pictures, and with the Visco subscription, you have access to even more filters. With it being available for both iOS and Android, you can check it out on your phone's app store. For number 3, I have Afterlight. Afterlight is cool because just like Lightroom, you get a large array of different tools like curves, brightness, contrast, including touch tools. You also get other tools like color shift and cool light overlays. Just like other apps, you get a large selection of filters, and with the subscription, you get even more. Afterlight is available for both Android and iOS. Next app, Polar. Now Polar has everything that all the other apps have, such as light tools, filters, and everything else, but a large selection of overlays. These overlays add a nice finish to your photos, whether you want it to be a light overlay, electric, clouds, pretty much everything you need is on this app, especially if you want to get a more of a live type of picture. This app is a go-to for any type of photographer, whether you're a professional or just starting off. Check it out on your phone's app store for free. And last but not least, I have Google Snapseed Photo Editor. With this basic interface, you can't go wrong with this app. You get a huge selection of tools and you even have the ability to edit raw pictures. Google Snapseed dominates the competition because of how organized all the tools are. And though there's a lot of them, it's easy to find what you need. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions, just leave a comment below. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Anyways, guys, I'm Andre Chris, and I'll be back with another video.